Hey Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at CD Burner XP. Quick because I'm out of DVDs, so I can't actually show you it burning. And I'm in a VMware, so sometimes that screws it up as well. But I just wanted to give you a quick look at the program. I love it. I've been using it for years. One of the big things for me is burning ISOs with it. So let's see. I'm showing you the setup briefly because it does come under ad supported, meaning it offers optional third-party programs. Typically, it offers one and they're actually one of the good guys about doing it and I'll show you why typically if you click next 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 you get screwed in this case by default it is a no thank you and at the time I did this video that was it so as long as we're here choose your languages there's not too many other options to worry about so if you don't speak English you might want to pick it or just install all of them they don't take up that much space click next desktop icons associate ISOs if you're gonna play with ISOs a lot quick launch icon, I think I said that, send to menu, it's up to you, and click install, and it'll only take a second to install. So once you're all finished with this, it's not tough to use. Basically, you're going to launch it and then just decide what you want to do. The interface has remained quite simple over the years. Very little has changed. You have some settings over here that you can play around with. Nothing too difficult. If you find things aren't working the way you want, feel free to come back in here. You know, the ask me how to burn a data disk, exit to the tray, uh, install your updates, etc. Nothing too tricky. So for the most part, I don't think I've ever even touched the settings in here. Uh, it all works just the way you want. So all you need to do now is decide what you're going to do. For example, give me a second here. For example, if you want to burn an ISO, if you want to burn a data disk, which would basically be creating an ISO image, or if you wanted to just, you didn't know what you're doing, if you want to burn a music CD, for example, that would work pretty good there. Um, audio disk will do it as well, but I've used the data disk quite a few times just to burn whatever it is I want to burn. So let's use something we can at least play with right now, as you can see, create video disk for your DVD player. So it really doesn't matter what you're trying to do, whether it's ISOs, music, video, copies, erases, it does it all, it does it simply, and it does it in a very uncluttered interface. That's why I love this program so much. So let's look at uh, burning an ISO image. So as you see, I just quickly ran over here and, and dragged the ISO over. And again, this is why I'm saying it, it may not work properly, but at least I can show you how it works. And this would apply with almost anything. So whether you're using videos or ISOs or whatever, your, your options will change just a little bit. But as you can see, anybody who's burned an ISO or a DVD before, you have your compatibility modes, finalize the disk, close it out, verify it after burning, which most of us don't do for the most part. You plug it in and there you go. Shut down the computer after completion, eject the disk. It's all pretty common. Um, multiple copies, different speeds, what type of burn method, and that's about it. So you click on burn disk and of course it wants to do it and once you get to there it will just you just click burn disk it'll burn it that's very fast it's very smooth it works really really well so basically I just wanted to give you an overview of it instead of having just look at a couple of screenshots so uh, video DVD would do the exact same thing the name of the disk the folder where you have the video TS stuff very simple you've used these before you've seen all this so there is your data compilation. So what that would allow you to do is pick a folder and you could come in and drag and drop whatever you want to burn. You could come over and let's say take your downloads and drag them over to here. And as you can see, there they are. And when you're done, you just click the burn button here. Add if you want to go browsing for stuff and clear, remove, pick your DVD copies. You can see it's almost the same everywhere you go. If I had a bunch of music and video and everything else on my drive I could sit here and probably do a 60 minute video by the time I got through it but you will find for the most part almost every time you open it as you can see it's got a player built in it's not that much different you're looking at the exact same interface as you were before so I think you'll like this program it's definitely one of my favorites it's called CD Burner XP because it's been around that long so give it a run the offer a uh, portable version as well, so you can look for that on the download link. It's linked to on that page. So if you wanted to not worry about the third-party software, which I showed you, you really don't have to worry about it, you can get the portable anyway. So once again, that is it. Very easy to use. Love this program. Thanks for watching. 
See you next time.